Her photos of everyone from Norfolk fishermen to world leaders brought her international fame in the early 20th century. But in recent years, Olive Edis has been less than a household name. It's one of the reasons why Norwich Castle opted to host Fishermen and Kings, an exhibition of her work, in October. And it's been a hit, with more than 40,500 people having come through the doors. It's actually up there with our best visitor numbers um, ever in the castle's history, so um, we're really pleased and people seem to have really responded well to the photos. Um, I had one visitor told me that she was reduced to tears um, at one point by one of the letters about Olive Edis's husband um, after his death, so it's, um, we've, been, we've been really delighted with how people have responded. The exhibition features more than 190 rare photographs taken by the pioneering photographer between 1900 and her death in 1955, including some taken from her studio in Sheringham, as well as some of the camera equipment she used. It's taken a while, but to be honest, most of the hard work's been done already, i.e. Olive taking these wonderful photographs. And you'd have to mess up really badly not to get a great exhibition from this stuff. Olive started off photographing members of her extended family. She came from quite a well-to-do background. Her reputation probably spread from those early photographs. As the first ever accredited female war photographer, some of the shots on show capture the heartache and destruction of the battlefields just after World War I. But she also photographed world leaders, from Prime Minister David Lloyd George to the future Edward VIII and George VI. But it's her pictures of men who spent their lives braving the wild waves of the North Sea that have proved most popular. It seems that the, uh, the fishermen have been especially popular in the merchandise. People have been really enjoying um, buying tote bags with Belcher Johnson's face on, which is quite lovely. Uh, Belcher Johnson was a North Norfolk fisherman. Um, he was a popular subject of Olive Edis's. She's, uh, she took hundreds of pictures of him over the course of her career. Um, and uh, he seems to have been as popular with modern audiences as he was with people back in his day. Fisherman and Kings runs until January the 22nd, but Norfolk Museum Service will continue to celebrate her work as a new display devoted to her pictures will open at Cromer Museum in March 2017, a perfect tribute to the woman behind the lens. Lauren Hewitt, Mustard TV, Norwich.